Hello everyone, welcome to day two of my Otterly Amazing class to go. I am featuring the brand new Otterly Amazing bundle. This is brand new in our new online exclusive release. So if you love otters, this one is perfect for you. You will not be disappointed. There is an entire suite of adorable products, including um, some DSP, some beautiful um, cording, and these amazing Riverside Irregular Pearls that we're gonna be using today. Now, if you wanna earn the class to go for free, all you need to do is place an order in my online store. All orders over $50 or more using the host code that is in the video description or is on my blog. You can find it in either place. Um, we'll earn the class to go completely free. That's all you need to do is place an order in my online store. If your order is over 150, do not use that host code. I'm still gonna see that order and you will get the class to go for free. You're also going to get an entire your package of the pearls in your kit and you'll have plenty left over for so many other amazing projects. You will need the bundle. There, Your kit does not include any stamping so you will need the bundle and the dies to complete your projects um, but you can purchase that in your online store when you're making your purchase to earn the class for free in my online store. Okay so this is today's card. It is so super cute. Yesterday on day one we made this incredible card. So we're going to take it down a little bit. We're going to make it a little bit simpler today. We're going to um, still make an amazing adorable card um, but not quite as many fun folds on this one. Um, I was inspired by this one at one of the examples that um, Stampin' Up! has online. I just love how the little otter looks like he's actually in the water. I think that is so stinking adorable. And so that's what we're going to do today. So um, I've already done some of the stamping just to kind of speed things along. So I have already stamped my little otter and I have die cut him out. So I'm going to zoom in and we're going to start with the coloring of the otter. Now if you watched yesterday's video, we're going to basically color it the same way. We're using the same markers. I am using that 800, which comes in the um, light to medium tones of the natural tones markers. And we're using pecan pie. And so for his little belly part here, I'm going to use that 800 marker. And we're going to go down all the way to his feet for his belly. So the, all the way down. And then I'm going to come in with my dark pecan pie. And we're gonna add some places where there's gonna be shading. So we're gonna color this whole guy um, just normal. And then we're gonna add some pool party to make it look like he's like floating half underwater. So it's going to be completely adorable. So I'm just adding some shading to where there might be some dark areas on him or her. Maybe this is a little girl, I'm not sure. So just a few little dark areas. And then we'll come in with my light pecan pie marker and we're just going to blend all that out. Um, you can use either tip. I'm using my brush tip. You can even color this with watercolor marker or watercolor um, pencils. Um, you can use a water painter and some ink if you prefer to watercolor. Um, I never get great looks with watercoloring. I, I think I'm just not patient enough for watercoloring. I know you have to really kind of let it dry and that is just not my style. I want instant gratification. So the markers, um, the Stampin' Blends are really my preferred method, but this would be completely adorable watercolor because, you know, he's in the water. So it would work completely perfectly. All right, so we have him all colored and I'm gonna go back in with that 800 um, and just kind of blend out these areas. Just add a little bit more just to those areas that are overlapping and that's just gonna give it more of a, like a natural blend to him. Okay. Now we're gonna take our pool party and I'm gonna use my dark pool party and we're just gonna kind of decide where he's gonna be underwater. So I'm just gonna kind of go halfway and I'm just going to take the pool party and color the entire thing, just kind of swooping and we're not really coloring because I don't wanna really blend anything with the pool party, but we're just going to just add some color and especially on the, like the white parts where it's been die cut, you want that to look like it's underwater. Okay, so that's it. So he kind of looks like he's gonna be floating in some water now. So there is our sweet little, our sweet little otter. So we're gonna zoom back out. We'll set him aside. We'll work on the rest of our card. So I have a Lost Lagoon card base, which is just eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. It's just your basic card base. And then I have another piece of Lost Lagoon, which is five by three and three fourths. And I have a piece of that DSP from the the otter suite and the DSP, I forget what this is called. This is called um, Otterly Adorable DSP. 
is incredibly cute. And I'm just going to adhere this piece of DSP. Um, this one is five by three. And we're just going to adhere that onto the this Lost Lagoon piece. And I'm gonna kind of stay over to the right side. I want more of a, a bigger border on the, the left side than the right side. And then we're gonna adhere this down to our card base. Just like this. Now it's not gonna be like, we're gonna have a little bit bigger border, maybe like um, half inch around each side. Well, not half inch, but like a quarter inch. Um, all right, um, so let's get, let's get to some stamping now. So I have a piece of pool party here that is um, two and a quarter by three and a quarter or not three and a quarter, three and three fourths. This is gonna be our water piece. And then I just have a die cut label from our stylish shape style, and this is where we're gonna stamp our greeting on. So we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on these. So for our greeting, I'm gonna do the Love You Lots greeting. And I'm gonna ink that in Lost Lagoon. And I'm gonna stamp that all the way on the right side, because we're gonna trim that off, okay? So that's it for our Lost Lagoon. And I'm gonna pull out my pool party ink and the little fish stamp. And we're going to add some little fish. I'm gonna grab, let me grab a piece of scratch paper just so I don't get ink everywhere. We're gonna add a little bit of fish. I'm not gonna cover this piece. We're just gonna kinda, of, there's some fish there. Maybe there's some up here. Maybe there's some here, up here. We just, we don't want them to, to be covered, but we just want a few fish here and there swimming around. All right, so that is it for our little pool party piece. So I'm gonna stick this piece on, the pool party piece on, with some dimensionals. So I'm gonna grab a few of those. And we'll stick this on. Peel off those backings, which on camera is always super challenging. This will go right onto our card front. I want a little bit of the DSP poking out the bottom, and then it's just gonna go side to side, just like that. Let's stick our little otter on. He is gonna go on with some dimensionals as well. Um, now, the bottom of him is going to already be popped up on this piece, so we're gonna need to put two dimensionals on his head just to make sure that it is of the same height. So I'm gonna put one there, I'm gonna peel the backing off, and then I'm gonna stack another one. And that's gonna make sure that he is the same height as everything else. And now we're gonna line up this little line here where the water is with our water line on the paper. So just like that. Okay, so now it looks like he's actually in the water. All right, now I have lots of pieces that I have die cut from the from the dies. Um, you'll receive cardstock to die cut these, but you will need to die cut them yourself. So I have some, um, some pecan pie rocks, some smoky slate rocks, I have an early espresso log, and then I have three calypso coral fish. So let's start with, let's start with the fish. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of liquid glue. Glue dots would work great here too. We're just gonna set down our little fish. I'm gonna put one up here. Just make sure that they don't hang off the edge of the card. My little sticky fingers are picking them up. <laughs> And then we're gonna put one going this way. All right. Perfect. All right, now for the, um, the background here, I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of the log. Maybe I'll actually use two. I'm gonna use two dimensionals on the back of the log here. Um, and these are gonna be, um, because our little otter, remember, is two dimensionals high, these are gonna be kind of set back, which is going to add to our scenery here. So we're gonna stick this little log in here, just like that, kind of right at the top of the, the water line, just like that. I'm gonna stick this larger rock on with a dimensional just on the other side, and I'll just stick that on, a dimensional right on the paper. And we'll stick this larger rock here. And I'm gonna cut up a dimensional. I'm gonna have cut a dimensional in half and we'll just use that for our, our little rock, our little pecan pie rock, which will go right over just like that. For our larger pecan pie rock, I'm gonna use some liquid glue. I'll just put a little bit on here and I will just stick that kind of right in front of the log, just like that. And then we have this little pecan pie rock and I'll stick this one in the back. 
in the back of the log, just with a little bit of liquid glue, or you can use a glue dot as well. This one, lift up that dimension a little bit. I want to get that under. Okay. Scoot that over so we can see it. Perfect. Just like that. So it's just going to kind of be hidden in the back. All right. Now to add a little bit of texture to my rocks, I'm going to take my dark pecan pie marker. And for the pecan pie ones, I'm just adding a few little, just a few little dots here and there. Um, just to give them a little bit of texture. You can do the same thing to your um, smoky slate rocks as well. All right, for our greeting, I'm just gonna trim this off. I just have my little trimmer here and I'm just gonna trim it off right before the, the love you part. And this will go straight down onto our card. Just right here by the little fishies. I don't wanna cover up all those fish. We'll go a little lower. All right, and to finish it off, we're going to use some of our little pearls here. I'm gonna use the white ones this time. These are so cute. And they're all just kind of shaped differently. They're all just a little bit different, which is so fun. And one down here. Okay, so that is it. That is our sweet little swimming otter card. So I hope you love day two. Remember, if you want to get this class to go, all you need to do is place an online order in my online store by October 15th using that host code. The only caveat with that host code is if your order is over 150, do not use the host code. You're going to receive those um, Stampin' Rewards as well as the kit for free. And you will also receive a full package of the Riverside Pearls for those $150 and above orders. All other orders under 150, they are still loved and appreciated and you will get the class to go with those for free. Please just make sure to use that host code so that I know you want the class to go. All right, I'll be back tomorrow with day number three. We have another really cute card coming up tomorrow. So I will see you guys then, bye.